United Nations Women Director Pumzile Mlambunguka has weighed in on the current crisis that has engulfed South Africa and other countries. She spoke to our foreign editor, Sophie Mukwena, where she called on police to double their efforts to curb the scourge. In countries all over the world, uh, we are part of uh, interventions that have to do with prevention, the biggest of which is collaborating to make sure that countries have got police forces that can apprehend perpetrators. And I know that is work that takes time, that needs considerable uh, investment, but it is critical that uh, we provide those types of interventions so that uh, perpetrators do not feel that they can get away with crimes against women without suffering any consequences. But of course, countries must have the right uh, laws. You also need to actively invest in empowering communities, in empowering institutions that are led by civil society to be part and parcel of engaging men. Uh, we have not always worked directly with men's organization. We are heightening that uh, type of work in the United Nations because we actually realize that uh, men are a critical part of uh, the solution that we need. He for she, are you making any progress in terms of ensuring that uh, men in particular support the initiative? We are seeing a more uptake uh, at the levels of, of leaders, but we, we have not reached uh, levels where we can see zero tolerance uh, from leaders. And also we have not seen uh, the, the numbers uh, of men and boys who are active in the campaign. So I'm actually making an appeal for South Africa that more men must work with organizations like Songe, more men must be part of an organization and, and a campaign like He For She, and we need them to take a stand. We need them to also uh, uh, become in, involved in supporting uh, women's organizations so that it is not always women standing by themselves. It is just too much uh, for women to have to shoulder this crisis all by themselves. Let's look at Nigeria. The Chibok girls, uh, some of them have been released mm. as the UN. How do you feel? We want all the girls to be back. Uh, let's, let's just begin there. So we are still concerned that we still do not have all of the girls. We are happy for the families and the girls that are back. They need a lot of support. Uh, they need to be reintegrated in society. Also, we need to make sure that society does not ostracize them, which sometimes is a problem. But more than anything else, we need to fight against terrorism, which sees women as pawns in a war that has nothing to do with women, actually. Meanwhile.